Well, in a lot of the stores we spoke with say the malls like Fashion Valley have been a ghost town for the past couple of months, so they're beyond excited to be reopening and have customers start shopping again. Thanks for calling Novo. This is Hugo. Hugo Tomas is the office manager at Nova Brazil Brewing Company in the Otay Ranch Town Center in Chula Vista. It's going to be great to see people starting to come back to, to the mall. Um, although we're not allowed to have dining customers uh, yet, at least it's going to you know, uh, bring more customers, more people to the mall. He shares his excitement with us after hearing their restaurant could potentially reopen in the coming weeks. We can't wait for that. This mall has been a ghost town. So by opening the, the mall, hopefully we'll get business back in, 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 uh, in the future. A few stores down from Nova is Vape Elements. We need it. We need, we need income. We need to pay for bills, rent. Uh, feeding the families. Ray Malin now is the co-owner. He says he and his staff have already started implementing the governor's new rules, and that's to get a jump start on things before the grand reopening. We started that way before. We took precautions. We knew it was coming. These are the guidelines every shopping mall, strip center, and outlet needs to abide by in order to reopen. The governor says they need to follow similar employee training and cleaning procedures as other retail businesses. They must frequently disinfect high touch surfaces like ATMs and benches, as well as turning off all public drinking fountains. Stores are also encouraged to only take credit cards from customers and install hands free payment systems wherever possible. It's going to be a lot different, as I said. But at least it is, it's great to, to, you know, to think that customers will, will be able to, to, to sit down here and enjoy our beers, our products, and our atmosphere. And right now, there is no word yet on when the malls will be reopening. Keep in mind, once they do, it's only for curbside and pickup service. No customers will be allowed to go inside the malls. We did reach out to some of the other bigger companies like Simon and Westfield for comment, but as of now, they haven't responded. Live from Mission Valley, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 5 News.